Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I wanted to switch up things today. Um, so I wanted to go over my foundation collection. Um, I do have quite a few foundations and <clears throat> I mainly wanted to do this video because I know, uh, first of all, that somebody had requested this uh, video a long time ago and I'm sorry that I'm just getting to it. But I think it is an awesome idea. Um, this video is going to be targeted mainly towards people that have oily skin because I happen to have very oily skin. So most of my foundations are for that. <clears throat> now, of course, I have some that are not for oily skin. And I will tell you about them as we go. So I am just going to go ahead and get started because I do have quite a few so I don't want to make this video too long so I'm just gonna pull out foundations at random and again just talk about the foundations um, just a little bit about them whether they have worked for my oily skin and if I would recommend them or not so the first foundation here this is the L'Oreal Paris visible lift blur foundation this claims to have opti blur technology which means that it's just going to blur out your pores any imperfections wrinkles fine lines anything like that i am in the color 210 sun beige and i honestly do like this foundation i just don't reach for it as often because it is not one of my favorites i do like it because i do feel like it did just pretty much um, minimize the appearance of my pores and the foundation or the color of this foundation is actually pretty much like spot on to my actual skin tone. L'Oreal has some good foundations overall and this one I do like it. Now I don't feel that it exactly works perfect for my oily skin um, because it does mattify me just a little bit but then maybe three to four hours into me wearing this foundation I do feel like I need to touch up or blot my skin because the oil does uh, peek through my skin other than that if you're looking for a foundation that is just going to help blur out any imperfections as your pores or again your wrinkles then I think this is a good foundation to go with now the next foundation is the Estee Lauder Estee Lauder double wear stay in place makeup and I used the color 3 W2 Cashew. Now I did actually place a pump on my foundation because these don't come with the pumps. Now this one <clears throat> is extremely, extremely full coverage. If you like a foundation that's going to just cover any imperfections, pimples, um, redness, scars, anything like that, you are going to love this foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations. Now I don't wear it as often because it is so heavy and it is so full coverage I prefer to choose this or to use this actually when I'm gonna go out if I'm gonna go to the movies or just anywhere where I know that I need my makeup to stay in place this is what I go for just because it is very long wearing <clears throat> I don't, I don't know if it says how many hours it's supposed to last, but honestly, this lasts on me pretty much the whole day that I have my makeup on. Now, it is very mattifying, and it does keep my face matte all day. I do have a little bit of oil that peeks through when I wear this foundation, but not too much. And just the coverage that it gives your skin, it makes your skin look very flawless. Again, this is not something that's going to make you look very natural. This is definitely going to show your skin that you are wearing makeup. Nonetheless, it's an amazing product. Moving on to the next foundation. This is the Revlon Color Stay Makeup. And this is for normal to dry skin. And I am in the color 320 True Beige. Now this one, honestly, I don't love it. The reason why, first of all, the color is kind of off for me. It's a little too tan for my skin, which, I mean, I guess I can work with as the summer as it comes around, I start to get a little bit more tan. Um, the reason why I don't exactly love this foundation is because it says that it's normal to dry skin. So that means that it's going to be a little bit on the dewy side. Now, it's not completely dewy, 
but it's not matte. So I guess it's just right in between. It's right in between um, that uh, silky finish or that dewy finish and a matte finish. Um, I do feel like it does stay on my skin for a pretty long time. But this does make me pretty oily. Um, if I do ever wear this foundation, <clears throat> I have to make sure that I have some blotting sheets or just maybe a pressed powder to just touch up my face because I get oily around here and then right in through here is where I get the most oil. This is pretty normal, I guess, but it just more like the T-zone is where I get just a hot mess. So maybe if you are on the normal type of skin or the dry type of skin, does that make sense? If you are on the normal to dry skin side, there we go, you are going to enjoy this. So, yeah. So, next up is my MAC foundation. This is the St Studio Fix Fluid with SPF 15. I am in the color NC40. This foundation was what I wore for maybe a good year. Well, maybe it wasn't a full year, but I wore it for months and months and months when I first got it. So this is another awesome really good full coverage foundation um this is the only foundation honestly that i've ever tried from mac and i really do like it but um when i got this foundation i i don't know why i feel like my skin color changed in a way this is a little too yellow for me because i don't have yellow undertones i have more of those like olive honey undertones so this does make me look a little bit yellow which means that i have to bring it pretty far down to my neck to match everything because then i don't want to look like the simpsons with a yellow face and then you know the rest of my body different <laughs> So I do like this foundation. It is full coverage. Now this is not something that it personally leaves me with a matte finish. It's like a like a semi matte, I guess. And it's not bad because I do feel like I get also a pretty good wear out of this. Um, but I do feel like with this one as well, I do have to blot in between um, just so I can keep up, you know, like that matte look on my face. Next up is the NARS foundation. This is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I am in the color Medium Dark Syracuse. Now I do feel like this one again is just a tad bit too dark for my skin tone. But I love this foundation. It's such an amazing product. First of all, it's going to give you a very nice luminous finish like it says on here. It is so weightless on the skin when you apply it. Well, when I first applied it, it kind of made me nervous because it's so, like, runny and watery. But when you apply it to your skin, it's like nothing you've ever seen before. Again, it's really lightweight in its formula, but it's full coverage. It will cover any imperfections, any acne, anything that you have, this will cover it up for you. This is probably one of my top favorite foundations and again it's just because the coverage is spot on i am the type of person that actually likes a full coverage foundation even though i don't have problematic skin but i don't know i just like a good full coverage foundation not for an everyday but you know when you're feeling a little bit more glamorous so this is an amazing foundation. If you haven't tried it, try it. This was all around YouTube for, I don't know, a couple of months ago. And I just got my hands on it because I had been eyeing it, but it's rather expensive. But a little goes a long way. So if you are super oily, this might work out for you. Now, I like to use this specific foundation with a beauty blender because I feel that's the best way that I get a very nice full coverage um like a very nice airbrush finish if that's what i was trying to get so yes definitely try this nars foundation if you haven't you will love it and it comes with a pump which is a plus okay so next here we have the l'oreal true match super blendable makeup and this is in the color sun beige w6 now this foundation is not for oily skin people if you have oily skin like me or worse this no this won't be your friends but I absolutely love this foundation this is probably the only foundation that I've actually 
gone through an entire tube and repurchased. I've been wearing this foundation for years. Me and my sister both really like it. And it's just a really nice medium to full coverage um, foundation. But again, it is not for oily skin because I do get really oily when I wear this foundation. So I need to make sure again that I'm just blotting throughout the day. But if you are someone that enjoys a very nice like dewy type of finish and you're still oily, I mean just, just carry a little blotting sheet with you. I promise you it's worth it. And yeah, I mean, I like this foundation. So... Yeah. So next I have these two and I'm just going to do them together because it's pretty much the exact same thing. These are the Fit Me Foundations by Maybelline. I have owned this foundation for quite a while now and then when they came out with the new Matte and Poreless I went crazy over it. I do have a first impressions on this foundation. I will leave that video linked down below if you guys haven't seen it. But really quickly I'm just going to talk about this one. This is the original formula. Now this one does, I don't know if it says if it's for right, like dry skin, but this makes me so greasy. This is why I don't wear it anymore, it's because I just look like a hot mess. It just, yeah, it's not for, it's not meant for oily skin. I mean, if you can wear it, you know, there's no rules up against wearing um, a foundation because your skin is a certain type word if you want to but it is not the best because it's not very long wearing on the skin and on top of that because I get oily throughout the day again I just I feel like it just slides all over the place I use the color 220 in this one and again I didn't use it for a very long time but now that I've discovered new foundations I just I don't use it because it's just it's not for me and I just don't like how it sits on my skin after a while. Now, the poreless foundation, which is the matte and poreless, this is in the color 322 Warm Honey. And again, this one is a little bit too dark for me, but I can make it work. I can mix it with other foundations and it's just fine. This one is for normal to oily um, skin. So again, if you are on the oily side, I think you are going to love this foundation. It is not the most mattifying foundation that I own. But it does keep me matte for a good maybe five to six hours. And then I can see my oil, um, it starts peeking through. It's not very long wearing, unfortunately. I think I can get maybe around the same time, around five to six hours of wear of this foundation. And then I can start to see my skin peeking through. Um, so yeah, it's not the most long wearing and it's not very full coverage either. But it's very affordable. So next I have the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. Just by the name of it, you're kind of like, okay, luminous and oily skin, not a good match. And I have to agree, this is not the best foundation for oily skin, but it does give you a really nice luminous finish to your skin. If you are on the dry side or maybe like combination skin this is an amazing foundation for you because it's not going to clean to dry patches again for oily skin it's not the best as far as for me because it does leave me very greasy and i can automatically feel my skin when i apply it i feel like there's like a lot of oil in here i don't know and it just makes my skin look too too dewy even if i set it in place my oil still peeks through so it's just not a good foundation for me, for my oily skin. If it works for you, kudos. But yeah, this is in the color N4 Buff Beige. Now, this is the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Mousse Foundation. And this is a lightweight, lightweight shine control foundation. I use the color 200 Soft Beige. And this foundation... I feel like I have mixed feelings about it. I like it because it is very like a mousse consistency like it says on here. When you apply it on your skin, it feels very, very soft. And it goes on pretty lightweight, but I don't feel like it keeps me very matte. It, it says that it's, I mean, it controls, you know, any shyness that you have and it's called Stay Matte. But I don't feel like it does that. This again is very affordable. 
but I just don't think it's the best for keeping an oily skin under control. Um, I feel like maybe I get three hours out of this and then, you know, my oil starts again peeking through. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it could be the way that I'm using it. I haven't used this in a long time, to be honest with you. Um, but I know that a lot of people rave about this foundation because it's matte. I don't know. I think I'm going to have to use it again and see how I feel about it. Okay, so now these are um, the Jordana Complete Coverage, Maximum Coverage, 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation. First of all, that is a mouthful. Now, I do have also a full review on these foundations. Again, I will have that video linked down below if you guys haven't seen that. I have two colors because this one was too dark and then this one was too light with pink undertones. So this one is in the color Neutral Olive and this one is in the color Golden Olive. So these two mixed together make my perfect skin tone. Now, this foundation is heavy. It's definitely full coverage. It's going to cover anything you want, but it's very, very heavy. You have to have a very light hand with these because you can easily get caked up. I made the first I made the mistake that the first time that I tried it, I applied it like a damn psycho and it was not cute. I felt my face very heavy with a lot of makeup. And as I've been using it, then you know I've kind of learned how to use it. Now these these don't exactly keep me mad, but I don't look very oily in them because it's just a full coverage foundation. It almost feels like it's a concealer, which I do not recommend for you to use it as a concealer because it's a little heavy. But they are a good foundation overall. I know some people say that it's too heavy for them, but again, you just want to have a very light hand with them because they they will cover everything. So I do like these for my oily skin. I do use them not on a everyday base. I actually have um, this one the neutral olive today in my skin and I think it looks good I mean it looks it looks it looks good okay I am almost done now this is the NYX stay matte but not flat liquid foundation and this is in the color sienna um, again this is a little too dark for me but again I can make it work now the reason why I wanted to get this foundation is because I actually own the powder that is the stay matte but not flat powder it's one of my favorite powders to use over my skin even though i don't use it as much but i still love it so i was very intrigued when i saw this i don't know how new this is or how old it is but it's a good foundation this is actually water-based so it's not going to make it too heavy on your skin this foundation is medium to full coverage you can definitely build it up without looking too cakey again because it is water-based so just make sure that you shake it because you can hear it make sure you shake it before you apply your foundation i love to use this one with um a stippling brush because i feel like that's how it gets the most coverage out of this foundation and this one does give me a really nice matte finish i've probably worn this once or twice just because like i said it is a little too tan for me right now but hopefully once the summer comes and i start to get a little tan i can make this work um but i do like this foundation it's a very it's a very nice mattifying foundation and it is and it is very long wearing so yeah this is the NYX Matte Foundation. So next up is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. I have no words for this foundation. This is what I've been wearing for a good two weeks straight. Sometimes I'll mix it with my NARS Luminous Silk Foundation it's heaven it's heaven on my skin I don't know if you guys have noticed but my skin has been looking a little good you know and it's because of this I swear this just makes my skin look so flawless it keeps me matte all freaking day I don't have to touch up I don't have to blot I don't have to do anything this does the work for me I love this foundation I don't know why it took me so freaking long to jump on the bandwagon but I am glad I did because it's it's an amazing product. I think L'Oreal did an amazing job with this foundation. It's 
Uh, if I had to choose one foundation out of all the ones that I have, I would definitely keep this one. It's just, uh, I love it. And it is super long wearing. I don't ever have to reapply my highlight or my blush or bronzer or anything because this just keeps everything in place. So, I mean... So next I have these two little uh, Fit Me foundation. These are shine free. Now I have two in very different colors. This one is in the color 240 and this one is in the color 3, 355. Now the reason why I have two different shades that are very much different from each other is because I actually like to use these for contouring and highlight. So I, I will highlight here and then I'll go in with it and then just chisel out my cheekbone. I don't use these that often but when I'm in the mood for contouring with um, foundations or what do you call it? Yeah with foundations then I will go ahead and use these. I do like these because they do keep me semi mattes not full on mattes. Um, I don't love them for all over the face but if you enjoy contouring with foundations then I think you should give these a shot because they will keep you a little bit mattes um, throughout the day but you will have to do a little bit of blotting with these okay I'm going to try to talk quicker because I don't want this video to be too long so this is the L'Oreal what is it color stay whipped foundation and this is supposed to be up to 24 hours of wear and I am in the color 330 true beige now this foundation is really nice because of the consistency that it has but it is very full coverage, um, which is what I like. I like a full coverage foundation. Now this one, it has a little bit of those pink undertones, which again, I don't have pink undertones. So it's another reason why I don't wear it as much. Um, but it is a good foundation. It doesn't exactly keep me matte because it's not a mattifying foundation, but it is very long wearing. So again, with this one, I do have to blot in between or I just need to make sure that I set my um, foundation with a really nice powder that is just going to leave me matte throughout the day. So if you do want something that is more on the full coverage side, this is definitely um, it and it does wear for a pretty long time. This is the Liquid Foundation by BH Cosmetics. This is the Complexion Collection. And I am in the color Medium Olive. This is a really good foundation. It's a little bit on the lightweight side, but it's medium to full coverage. Now this one, again, is not the best for oily skin because with this one, again, I do feel like I need to blot up my face or just retouch it. Um, and it's not very long wearing, but just the product itself, it's good. I like how it works on my skin, and I like how it makes my skin look. So, a good foundation, and it's super affordable. Here I have the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. This is in the color Soft Honey. Now, this foundation is a really, really good foundation. I don't love CoverGirl. But I love their foundations because most of them are very nice. This is on kind of like the medium side of coverage. I feel like you can build it up and you won't look too cakey. But this one is, again, not exactly the best for oily skin. Um, with this one, I also have to blot in between or just use a powder. You know the drill. This one here is super old. I don't even know why I have this. Well, it's not super old. It's maybe about a year, year and a half which I probably should throw it out because it says that this is good for 12 months. So this is the Sephora foundation. When I first got this foundation, it was the love of my life. I loved this foundation so much. And I do really like it. It is a very nice foundation. It does keep me matte and it's very long wearing and it's on the full coverage side. I just, I mean, I wouldn't repurchase it anymore because I have other foundations that I like better than this. And this is not too expensive for it being a Sephora brand. If you guys go back to my first videos, like the very beginning, you will see me whip out this foundation a lot of times because it was just my go-to foundation. So, yeah, good foundation, mattifying, and long-wearing. And this is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. This is in the color 75 Natural Beige. 
I also did a first impressions a while ago about this foundation and at first um, I didn't like it because it was a little bit light for my skin tone and just the application is a little bit awkward now this foundation I tried to like it so much and I just I didn't I don't like how it wore on my skin it's very it's very liquidy which makes it I don't know it just it, it didn't work with my skin um, I mean it's supposed to be more on like the natural side which okay I get that but I just don't like the consistency of it it's too runny it's too watery and it just it didn't work out for me um, so yeah I might have to just give this away or throw it out because it's just been sitting there. Now the very last foundation that I have is this Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam. This is air infused makeup and it contains um, sunscreen broad spectrum of SPF 16 which is pretty cool. Um, you're supposed to shake it if you can hear that. You're supposed to shake it and then when you apply it, it literally looks like foam. I I got this a while ago too, and then once you blend it in, it's it's strange. It's the strangest consistency ever. This is super yellow, like hella yellow. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really yellow. Um, I mean, I don't love this foundation. I don't hate it. I think it is good, and I love how it feels on the skin because when you apply it, it doesn't even feel like you're wearing foundation. I mean, it's a friggin' foam for god's sake so it doesn't feel like you're wearing a foundation it's very lightweight i don't think this is the best for full coverage it's literally on like the lightest coverage that i've ever seen but if you are somebody that likes that more natural type of finish i think you're going to like this i haven't seen these anymore let me know if you guys have seen these i haven't seen them in a while um i picked it up because it was on clearance at Target's a while ago so maybe they did discontinue them okay so that is everything um, I hope I covered everything that you guys were expecting from this video I know that I had tons of them so I really tried not to go too much into detail but as always if you guys have any questions concerns comments whatever leave them in the comment section down below I always will answer your comments so let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up and that is everything. Also, I wanted to ask you guys um, if you would be interested in me doing a Q&A. I know some of you have asked me if I will do a Q&A and I will. So if you guys do want to leave um, also any questions, it can be whatever you want to be. Random, funny, weird, makeup, non-makeup related, whatever. Just let me know. Um, and I think that will also be good so you can get to know me a little bit more. So yeah, that is everything. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.